The day the church remembers as Palm Sunday, Jesus arrived in Jerusalem only a few days before he'd be arrested, tried and executed. Arriving in a spectacle, riding on a donkey through the Golden Gate, the crowd saw this and immediately they made a connection. Jesus deliberately fulfilled a prophecy, a Hebrew Bible message which said, Rejoice Jerusalem, your king comes to you, triumphant and victorious, humble and riding on a donkey. The crowds recognise Jesus for who they think he is, waving palm branches to celebrate the coming of a king who they think is going to drive out the Romans, throwing their cloaks down, one of their most valued possessions as a sign of their support, submitting to follow their king into battle. The crowds shout Hosanna, son of David, Hosanna meaning save now, and son of David showing that they recognise Jesus as David's descendant. The crowds seem to have everything correct, everything except for what kind of king, priest and messiah Jesus is. A mistake that we continue making, expecting Jesus to fulfill, to fix our problems for us, to get rid of those who we disagree with or those who disagree with us. Making things better for us, to reshape the world in our image. Thinking like this, we're left disappointed in the same way that the Jerusalem crowds were. Jesus doesn't overthrow powers and change the world like this. This is a temptation which Jesus had already handled in the desert before he even began his ministry. Jesus came to change the world by changing lives, not overthrowing, but by healing each of us. So we cry Hosanna and Christ cries, let me fix you. Will you welcome him into the city of your heart?